Hello, and welcome back to the Dr. Zeus read-along series. This is the second story in my other stories collection. This one is from the Sneetches and other stories. I hope you enjoy. This one is called The Zacks. One day, making tracks in the parine of cracks, came a north going Zacks and a south going Zacks. Ah, yes. So you can tell you have two people, maybe they're walking in the opposite directions and then they join and then one of them would like to say no after you after you you know that and then it sort of gets into like we'll be there for thousands of years and we won't be able to pass each other because we can't just agree uh. <laughs> yeah but look you see look they've just met what do you think is going to happen mm, let's find out shall we okay so it says and it happened that both of them came to a place where they bumped. They stood foot to foot, face to face. Oh dear. The North Going Zach said, Look here now. I say you're blocking my path. You are in my way. I'm the North Going Zach. And I always go north. Get out of my way. Let me go forth. And what do you think the South going Zach said? I think he's going to say a similar thing. He says, Who's in whose way? Snapped the South going Zach. I always go south, making south going tracks. So you're in my way. And I ask you to move and let me go south in my south going groove. Then the South going Zach Puffled up his chest, puffled his chest up with pride. I, with pride. I never, he said, take a step to one side and I'll prove you that I won't change my ways and if I have to keep standing here 59 days. Oh dear. Do you know what? Do you know what? To make it fair, instead of one of them moving to the side, why don't they both move to the side, but opposite side, do you know? Well, both move the same way, so I move left and I move yes. So we're going to move oppositely. Yeah, so I'm going to move right and you move left. Right. Ah. Uh, no, you do left, I do right. Ah, oh, I don't think that would work. And I'll prove to you, yelled the South Going Zax, that I could stand here on the parade of Prax for 59 years, for I live by a rule I learnt as a boy back at South Going School. Never badge, that's my rule. Never budge, that's my rule. Never budge is the least. Not an inch to the west. Not an inch to the east. I'll say, not budging. I can, I will. If it takes me and you, the whole world to whole world stand me and you. And the whole world just stands still. Well, how about if there was an east and a west going Zax and Amen at the same location? I wonder what would happen. Now you let me pass. No, me. Hey, I was here first. We were here first. But we need to get through. So move out of the way. N yeah, but we were here. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so. Ooh, look at this. Oh no! 
Look, they've built loads of roads. Oh, dear. There's, like, cards everywhere. A roundabout? Why would you need a roundabout there? Oh, I get it. So, that's a one-way road, and then you just make a U-turn. Um, cars aren't even finding the direction of the road. Look, that car's definitely going that way. I think those cars are going the wrong way round the roundabout. Don't you agree? It seems they even named it the Zach's Bypass. <laughs> right, let's continue. Well, uh, of course, the world didn't stand still. The world grew. In a couple of years, a new highway came through. They built it right over those two stubborn Zacks and left them there standing unbadged in their track, unbudged in their tracks. Oh, I wonder. Thank you for listening to this other stories.